Okay, so if you're watching this video, that means you have the Roly light pad block. This is the M model. And you want to know how to get that XYZ feature working in the auto filter in Ableton Live. Let's not waste a lot of time. There's a ton of great videos out there showing how people are doing this, but I have not found one video that shows us how to actually do it. I figured it out. It took me a while. So here we go. Let's go to the Roly Blocks dashboard app. And we're going to go down to the bottom. And right here, it says X, Y, Z pad. We're going to click on that. And our light pad turns into that. All right. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to hit MIDI in the upper right-hand corner. Now, I'm going to show you what you've probably encountered. And that is, let me zoom in is if you click on the filter and you now touch your pad, it comes up 115. And if you click on the LFO, it's also 115. Man, that took me a while to figure it out. And I am going to show you guys how to actually get past this point. So basically, I just went in the upper left-hand corner and deleted those MIDI mappings. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Roly, uh, the Blocks dashboard, and you're going to go into the Edit screen. And in the Edit screen, you see 115, so it is uh, picking up the Z axis. First step is go to All and assign X. X is 113. Let's go back to Ableton. I'm going to zoom in for you. And you're going to click on the filter. You're going to touch your rolly blocks. And guess what? Voila! 113. You have the filter. And you're going to go back to your rolly blocks. Dashboard. Zoom in. And you're going to click. On the send and you're going to click on Y which corresponds to the Y axis of 114 you're going to go back so uh, you're going to go into the filter resonance and you're going to tap on it just like that so you have 113 there's your X and there's your Y back to your dashboard and you're going to go to your Z which is 115 and you're going to go tap on amount which is your LFO and when you do it you can touch it you can touch anywhere as you're doing this you can touch anywhere on there does it matter uh, it's just assignment of what it has. And if you notice now we have X, Y, and Z, okay? Um, this LFO is the pressure when you press down and I'll show you that at the end of the video here. So now you would think that at this point, if you go up to the upper right hand corner and you click on MIDI, you would think that you just mapped out everything and it should work. And it doesn't work. Only the pressure, only the Z is working. Well, I got that far, as some of you might have, and I realized that I had to do one other thing and I'm gonna show you what I did. I'm gonna go back to this setting and I'm gonna go back to all. Okay, now, if you're watching this video and you're saying, hey, this guy's an idiot, he should know this, I'm not a MIDI master. Um, I know enough MIDI to get around and do what I have to do uh, for the basic stuff, but I've never mapped an XY uh, pad like this. So now, I'll show you this one more time. Now we go back to Ableton, and if we go into the order of auto filter 
and we go up and down, left and right pressure. We'll run a little, and I'm just, it's my first video on YouTube. So I'm just, these are the speakers for the computer, but the objective is just to show you that that it does work. And then pressure. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, my first YouTube video ever, but I was just so excited. I have benefited from watching uh, so many people in the community uh, do uh, this type of stuff. And so I literally just threw something together very quickly. Uh, but I know there's probably a lot of people out there that would like to get more use out of this wonderful little uh, device. And um, I have the, uh, the live as well. And so I'm still learning a lot about what to do and how to do it. I hope this was uh, a blessing for you guys.